What's up traders welcome back A few weeks ago I did a video about Oenda A broker I use and kind of a review about all the things that I like That I found a bit different with other brokers And just a big background about the broker And so far people liked it It's been a pretty popular video on the channel here And I said I would keep going with other brokers And again the goal of this series is to make sure to review brokers that are regulated So you can use them without worrying about your money and that they are going to provide a good service. I want to not review brokers that are going to be bad and not properly regulated. So that's in your full interest. The thing is, I don't know that many brokers. Plus, I've been signing up with a different broker recently, but I feel like three or four months of having an account with them wasn't enough to do a proper review and to kind of explain what I think about the broker. So I decided to take things big, which meant going to the broker's office to try to meet them and see what they're doing, have them explain more so you guys can get more value and more details than I could. So, so for this video I want to explain my thoughts plus you'll hear the details from Ben at Exitrader and hopefully that gives you a good, a good overview. Make sure you check out the link below as well for some details. I'll show more about that at the end but uh, let's get rolling with that. I'm sitting down today with Ben Malone, who's Senior Account Manager at Exitrader. I want to ask you about some things that I'm not sure about yet, and that you might be able to answer better than I did. Sure. You have more experience, of course. Alright, so I've been using Exitrader for a couple of months now, maybe three or four months. And I've been pleased so far by the support. I did notice a few things on the website, which I had trouble to open my account at first. But they resolved it pretty fast when I contacted them, which means I didn't have to worry too much about the customer service issue. So no problem with that overall. When it comes to the platform, I noticed that they only have pretty much one thing, which is MetaTrader 4. And that is a good thing. Now, they have a version especially made for Mac, which I first thought was a simple kind of version and more simplified that you cannot do anything with it. Until I opened it and installed it properly at the Exitrader office and saw that the version was complete and you could do pretty much everything you could on a regular PC, which is like pretty awesome. So I've never seen this before. And that would mean that I could simply open my NT4 on my Mac and trade there. And even do back tests and everything I want to do there. Which is, I think, pretty awesome. I've not seen this on other brokers before. There might be other options for that, but I'm just not currently aware of any. Yeah, we've got a range of, I guess, add-ons and plugins to the platform which help with risk management and, um, and some custom indicators that we've got available as well that help people find some high probability trade setups. So. Mm -hmm. We've got all of those available inside MT4 as well. The leverage issue is a little bit complex for me. I was able to go in my account and get up to 400 to 1, I believe, but that's going to vary based on where you are. So I'll let Ben explain that. We have licenses in a bunch of jurisdictions. So um, the two main ones at the moment are ASIC and FCA, which is in the UK. So ASIC is the Australian branch and FCA is the UK branch. Depending on where your account is um, set up, um, you can have up to 1 to 400 leverage at the ASIC uh, division mm -hmm. or up to 1 to 30 leverage um, in Europe uh, with your paper to the UK license. So, um, you know, if you're in Europe, you can still have an account with the ASIC branch if you want, if that's your preference, and so you can have that higher leverage. Okay. Um, but uh, it's, it's really up to you. And, yeah, I mean, we have, you know, we have licenses in a whole bunch of jurisdictions, but those are the two... I guess leverage options that are available um, so that anywhere basically from one to one no leverage mm -hmm. to one to four hundred is the maximum yeah awesome yeah withdrawals and deposits there are a few ways to withdraw to add money to your account yeah so I mean we have a bunch of deposit options firstly um, it really depends on where you are but the most common would be credit or debit card is, is a pretty common globally um, a lot of people do bank transfers we have a few e-wallet style solutions Netteller Skrill which are really great methods like instant funding and quick withdrawals so if you're wanting a quick in and out those two are good options Netteller um, is probably the best for that 
there's a few others if you're residing in China or in mm. Vietnam or Thailand. But the, the credit or debit card or bank transfer are the most common um, with a few e-wallets, as I said. And then in terms of withdrawals, I guess the important thing that some people get unstuck on is that we have to send the funds back to a bank account if you're funding via credit or debit card. Um, and that bank account has to be in your name. So we, we need to see evidence that it's in your name, a bank statement generally, to verify that we're not sending the funds to someone else that's trying to get your funds and that's just for your security more than anything okay. yeah and how long do kids will expect to get money to get the money in their bank account if they will draw by a bank account so it sort of depends on where you are globally we'll process the withdrawal within 24 hours um 24 business hours so if you request a withdrawal what, what is it it's about 2 p.m today if you requested mm. it today we'd process that um this afternoon and then it's just a matter of how long the banks take to yeah, receive yeah. the funds well, which can take some time for banks but right but so, I, so if you do it fast it's good right yeah and you know we we process it quickly so you probably receive the funds if you did it today maybe two business days i mm. um, in a bank account yeah i don't think there's anything to worry with that i think it's pretty much the same procedures as oenda where they have you deposit one way then you have to withdraw the same way or to your bank the other thing to note is that Access trader tend to offer some rebates. So for example, if you were to put in money in your account, they will sometimes give you back a portion of that. So you will put a thousand dollar and they will give you like uh, three hundred dollar more in your account, which you cannot withdraw, but you can use to trade, which I believe in my mind is a good thing. It's not something that most brokers do and why not benefit from it. So you get to trade with more money and keep the profit of that. Another thing to note is that Axe Trader has a special program that they use to fund traders. And that's something that I've not seen yet with other brokers. So you could open an account with them. They will be able to fund you if you reach a certain point, which we'll talk more about later in the video. Spreads and commission are standard. I've seen some slight differences between Oenda and Axe Trader. They are not big differences. They are not massive. The good thing about Actually, so they have two types of accounts. You could have an account for day trading or swing trading based on the structure of the spread. And that would simply be better for you. But in all cases, I think the things are similar. And there's nothing to worry here. There's no big spread or anything different than Oenda. So we have the spread uh, only account. If you prefer to have all the cost of your trade built into the spread, um, they sit around 1.1 pips on major pairs. And then uh, we have a, a pro account is what we call it. It's an ECN style account. Um, so it's raw spreads with a $7 commission um, per standard lot. A lot of people ask me which one is cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the, the pro account, honestly, probably works out to be a touch cheaper in the long run. Yeah, it depends on the trading style, of course. It, it does, yeah, of course. Um, we have a swap free account as well for people mm. who can't pay or receive interest for religious reasons. There's that account that's available. And so in that case, people pay a, a fixed fee or how does that work? Yeah, there's, the spreads are slightly wider because mm -hmm. there's no swap fees and um, there's an administration charge if you're holding the trade for more than five days in a row. Okay, yeah. okay. that's yeah. awesome to know. Yeah, cool. They are pretty much at the top of the field for that. Lastly, customer service and the user interface. I did find, as I said, a few bugs in the website when I started to open my account and I couldn't open it the first time. It took a few trials, but over time I was able to do it. If you contact their support, they are super friendly. Plus they have a super team of account managers, which you could contact and get help from. So I think that's a good thing. And they are more kind of personal with you. So you don't have to kind of go to the whole organization to get support. You can just contact them one-on-one -on -one and they'll be happy to help you out, which is something I've not seen with most brokers. Most brokers are kind of on this side and they don't want to really talk to you or they don't want to like do calls with you or help you out while well, they really get out of their ways to give you support and to chat and to see how you're doing and stuff, which is, I think, very valuable. Yeah, I guess we have a two-pronged approach to our, our customer service. Anyone that's that's sort of in the desire to trade group, like, like I'm more than happy to be speaking to directly and um, have their direct contacts on Skype or, or, or that sort of thing. Um, and, and so you would have a direct account manager, then you also have access obviously to the wider client service team. And so it's sort of a two-pronged approach, 24-hour support from the client service team and your, your account manager, um, which would be myself or one of the other sales guys, um, yeah, you could speak to and, and they essentially act as your, almost like your advocate, if you like, to, mm -hmm. the, to the internal teams to try and, so, uh, so. try and help you out. Yeah. yeah. So many times I had a problem with my account to open it or whatever, and you, you are always there to kind of back it up right. and find a solution. Right. Which is awesome. Yeah, cool. It's good, well, to, have. good to hear. Yeah. And most workers don't have that. Or they might have an account manager, but you feel like they don't really push it too much. Right. So it's a very different thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. that's right. Yeah, so we like the personal touch. Yeah. yeah it's a point of difference. Yeah. Awesome. 
as I said, you gotta make friends with your broker. I think that's a really, really big key. You gotta be able to team up with them because they are a big part of your success. They might know things you don't know. They might be able to provide things that you would need and that can be beneficial for you. So why not team up with them? And that's why I started to meet my broker, Axie, and see how they're doing things and what they have to talk about, which I was really excited about and really thrilled about. It was really, that was really a good meeting. And I wanna make the last point with some different features that Again, I've not seen with different brokers. Axis Trader has a program where they are able to fund traders, which is really well built in my opinion. I've been able to talk with people there that run the program. And so here's Ben on that topic. Uh, I guess a little bit of background. I know you did an interview with, with Michael yeah. previously. Yeah, we'll, we'll link that below if it's, not, if it's published yet. If not, it's gonna be published uh, soon. Sure, so um, I guess the idea is, you know, we're, we have a lot of clients and some of them are very good traders. Um, yeah. You know, and so how uh, the thinking sort of came from, we have these great traders um, on our books, um, can we set up a program where we give Axie Trader capital to these traders um, and then they take a cut on the profits that, that we're giving them? I mean, it's great for the trader, it's great for us, it's a win-win situation. And so um, through the Psyquasion platform, which again is, is in that other video, um, but it's essentially a, an analytical tool that we've used to be able to identify talented traders. And so if you meet certain criteria according to that platform, we'll allocate you capital uh, and you trade that on behalf of Axie Trader, essentially, and you take a 20% cut on the profits generated. So, um, you know, we, we want to help people, people who are wanting to trade full time, um, often capital can be an issue to, yeah, to come up with. Yeah, it's a big issue, yeah. But you might be really talented, yeah. but you might just not have the capital available. Mm. So we want to be able to help where we can um, and you know get you on that journey to becoming a full-time trader. And if we can use some of our capital to help out or some of the capital from the wider investment community, then that's what we're hoping to do. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really cool. And I've seen the platform before, like the, the things you showed me before, and it's, it's just well done. And I feel like people have a better way to get capital than most other platforms out there because they use a lower bar to entry. Like there's no big requirement. Plus it's backed up by a broker. Right. It's different. I mean, you're going to be trading with a broker anyway, right? Yeah, yeah like, exactly. Yeah. And so if you, you know, I guess the requirements are you have to have at least $1,000 in your account um, and at least six months of trading history um, mm -hmm. as well as there's a, a few criteria regarding your performance and your trading style. Um, which the Psyquasion platform goes into in a bit more detail. In terms of the low barriers of entry, $1,000 is, is a minimum to get started and then mm -hmm. six months of history, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So guys, I was able for you to team up with Axie Trader, and we'll post the details below in the description and it's gonna be on the website as well. But if you wanna open an account with them, I've been very happy to be with them in the past few months and they are gonna be offering a special promotion for you guys if you use the link below for a rebate so whenever you put in money in your account you'll get the part of it back added to your account. So they would get a 20% rebate in the account. So whatever you deposit in your account, you get 20% in right. the account more. Exactly That's right. Awesome. Yeah, so a 30% trading credit essentially. Yeah. Perfect. That's good. You'll also be able to contact Ben if you have any question and if they want to like get anything when you sign up with your account. Of course. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, I have my direct contact on Skype yeah. and, and email and phone as well, of course. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Ben. It's been no a pleasure. Well. And uh, you guys, if you have any questions, comment below this video or contact Ben. It's going to be able to help out. If not, we'll catch you back here pretty soon. So details below for that. And you can also contact Ben, of course, if you want to reach out to him and chat with him and be able to get help. That's their super support, which is awesome. So again, leave me a thought below if you have any questions on this. And uh, make sure you get in touch with Axie Trader if you need anything. Here are a few comments for the past video. I appreciate you guys for leaving comments as always. And I'll catch you back here in Bangkok tomorrow. Ciao. Who you met before? HR <laughs> <laughs> team sitting here. There might be some meetings. Forex boys who do the physical side of the business. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
take his and all the technology off of here, so all the guys need to back up this and everything else. Pacific. <laughs> so we'll trade you guys down here and um, some of the sales guys at the end. So four administration guys here, all the sales at the other end. So the finance team handle all the money side of the business. So we spend most of our time <laughs> the full table. Here. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Too bad. This is the main boardroom. There's another video in here. It's out of the harbour from here. Awesome.